my stomach. Oh, I'm starving. I mean, I ate all my food at dinner, but I barely, barely was able to eat like half of my lunch because I was talking the entire time. I hope they didn't find me annoying because of that. I really just was excited that someone was listening to me. They seem really sweet though, so hopefully they want to continue being friends. Uh, I need food. Uh, come on, G. We're gonna journey to. You're busy. Okay, got it. Um, I'm gonna journey to the kitchen to grab some food. I might be able to snag you a treat. Maybe not. Who knows? Everyone's asleep, and it's like midnight. So I'm gonna try to be very, very quiet. Okay. They should be in that room. Fast asleep. Down the stairs. Go down here. The garage light's on, but it's always on at night. They're not in the living room. Not in the kitchen. Okay. Let's grab food from the fridge. <gasps> what are you doing up this late? Mom! Uh, how you doing? What are you doing up this late? You're never up this late at night. Well, I'm working on my new book. Fascinating, how's that going? Good, good. I don't know how I want to write this scene, though. The characters need a way to meet through running from the village guards, but the one character wouldn't rebel. Well, do they have someone they would protect? Well, yeah. Maybe they did it to protect them. Maybe the other person that they were protecting rebelled and they took the blow for them. You're right. Wait, that actually works out well. Because later she covers for the same friend. And if it's been a thing she's always done, then it could be a running theme. I know, I'm amazing. Uh, spectacular writing, that's me. <laughs> so, did you meet any guys at school? Uh, I'm friends with Charlie, but that's about it. I'm mainly friends with girls. I mean, like, a crush. Uh, um, <laughs> uh, maybe? Ooh, tell me about him. Oh, I'm so tired. Ooh, I need to get some sleep. Good night, Mom. Get some sleep, okay? <sighs> I don't like talking about crushes and stuff with really anyone <laughs> I don't want to go back into my room right now I'm gonna go upstairs and maybe sit on the roof for a little bit and look at the stars we need to get rid of some of this junk I still have my little like tricycle deal from when I was like two maybe three oh and Mr. Tiger I loved this doll so much when I was little. And Totoro, I have another one downstairs, but there's another one that I got when I was young. <sighs> An old video camera? I wonder what's on there. Oh well. Um, anyways, let's go up to the roof. <sighs> it's a little chilly, but I mean, it feels nice. Be very careful not to slip on the roof. Wouldn't be the first time I've slipped. <sighs> There's just something so relaxing about looking at the stars and knowing there's so many things we just can't see. Like so many planets and galaxies and I don't know, aliens. <laughs> It's almost like how I feel when I don't understand and don't know the emotions that are going through my body right now. Like, every time I see him, I get butterflies. And I have a constant want to hang out with him and know more about him. Is that what a crush is? Like an actual crush? Not a, hey, they're cute. 
Let's have a thing for two days in elementary school. Maybe. <laughs> but he probably wouldn't like me. He's really cute and, well, I'm me. <sighs> if only I knew his name. But what do you want? What's your biggest need? Every hour we spend together And suddenly The chances are small just like the lottery able to fully introduce myself. Hi, I'm Dean Levi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Angel Atwood, but <laughs> you already know that. <laughs> yeah, want to hang out sometime? Somewhere you can't fall off any railings? I like that a lot. <laughs> Got a dopamine rush, got a major league crush when you're next to me. Got my heart upon my sleeve, can I hide the way I feel when you're next to me, girl? 